guys, and welcome to our review for Ben Hur. When I say our, if you don't recognize who this is, he's been on the channel several times, numerous times. He, he keeps making appearances. Uh, fellow film critic Ryan Abbott, how are you doing today? My I am doing good. Good, and we just got back from seeing Ben Hur. It's the remake of the 1950s version. I'm not too sure when it came out, uh, but it won a lot of Oscars and. You know, what are you going to do? And now we have this remake. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. So, you know, going into the film, I never saw the original. Did you see the original? No. No, I, I would like to. I mean, I'd be interested yeah. in it because there are only three films that have the highest uh, amount of Oscar wins, and that's uh, Ben-Hur, Titanic, and The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Uh, I thought that this film was extremely uh, entertaining, and I never thought it really was boring and I never was not interested uh, but I, I just felt like this was an extremely uh, well put together film and you know with with great performances all around I didn't feel like there was one performance that really was bad and I really enjoyed the film now uh, how, how did you feel about it this movie sucked I mean I didn't like it at all I felt it was boring as hell really I did I honestly felt it was boring. Seriously? Seriously. Wow, that's that's crazy. All of the time we do reviews here, we don't talk about it on the whole car ride home. We come, we put the camera, and this is a live thing. So I'm, you know, kind of shocked. You didn't like the film at all, really? I didn't like it at all. I wow. felt it very boring. I felt it, it felt like it was very long. I, I got to tell you, for me, I, I just think the way that it was written, the way it was set up, uh, the first couple scenes in the film, I thought, to me, really personally set everything up well enough for me to care about what was happening in these characters and I was really invested and I was really into it so when all these things started happening I was caring and I wasn't just going oh this this is this is dragging or I don't really want to care about what's happening because I was invested in the characters you didn't feel like it brought anything to the I table. didn't felt like it brought anything to the table the reason why I didn't love the film is because I felt like you said it did feel a little long. I felt the runtime. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I felt it going and, and going, even though I was still entertained, especially the last about maybe 10 minutes of the film, I felt as though a lot of it was shoehorned in and not necessary for the story they were trying to tell. And I just felt like it was just thrown in there for, for, for no good reason. I, I just thought that they just threw it in there because they felt like they had to. The thing that really took me away and really made me enjoy the film is, is the scope of it. Uh, just with these, you know, really wide camera angles and, and the shots and, and how it was how it was filmed and just, you know, the performances. If this movie had bad performances, then honestly I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it because then it would have dragged. But since I was able to care about these characters and how they were written, it was it was fine. Some of the action sequences in this movie, there's a lot of shaky cam, there's a lot of shakiness, and uh, it, it was kind of jarring because some of the action is well done and some of it isn't. How did you feel about that? Basically how you felt it. It's like it, if you sit in there and you're watching the action sequences and you're, you're, you feel like you're getting, like your head's bouncing up and down because of the camera a angles and like jerking all around. Right. I, I felt like I was getting seasick just watching that. I'm happy we didn't see it in 3D. But, you know, overall, Ben-Hur for me, I, I did end up enjoying the movie more than I thought I was going to. Uh, it turns out it was a little differently for you. Uh, I'm going to kick off the ratings. I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say three and a half out of five. Uh, I thought the movie was, uh, I thought it was a good film. Uh, how about you? All right, people. I am going 1.5 out of oh. five. Well, sorry. That's no, don't apologize. Hey, it's, sorry. Uh, could it be better? I think, from my perspective, could it be better? Yeah. I, I got a little more out of this one than you did, and uh, hey, yeah. well, well, that's that's okay. So, guys, yeah. comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing Ben Hur? If you did see it already, uh, let us know what you thought about it uh, in the comments. Also, you could subscribe to this channel. I have a question. Yeah. If anybody did see the original Ben Hur and you see this one, I'm curious. Which one do you prefer better? Do you prefer the original one that won all those Oscars, or do you prefer the re uh, the remake one? That's what I'm curious about. Because there could be people out there that like this movie a lot more than even I did. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, comment that. And, uh, guys, you can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. You can also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingArises131. 
And uh, where could they find you? You can find me on Facebook at Ryan Abbott's Movie Reviews. All right. Well, guys, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching uh, our, our review for uh, Ben Hur. And guys, you can check out my uh, Blu-ray unboxing for the nice guys that's coming Tuesday. That's about it. Over and out. Are we having fun now, brother? Stand and fight! Stand up now!